Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a loot run that's going to make you a ton of money right now and escape from Tarkov. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more PvE content. This loot run is going to be a little different than some of our other ones. We're actually going to be doing it on our scav. And we are going to be looting all of the food from Goshen in Interchange. Now, you probably know about all the food spawns, but you probably haven't realized how much food is actually still worth even at this point in the PvE cycle. Food is very expensive. People are using it for barters. People are using it for crafts. It is very lucrative and goes for a ton of cash in the flea market. And on your scav, you can get all of it relatively easily compared to running on your PMC. You can certainly use your PMC if you want, but if you are using your scav, you don't have to deal with the constant waves of scavs pouring in. You might have to deal with one or two PMCs max, and that's it. So let's head on our scav, and let's get some food. All right, so we are mainly looking for squash, tarcola, hot rods... And then anything with a high quick sell, like condensed milk. And don't get me wrong, like water bottles and stuff, they're worth like 12k. But we're not really 100% looking for those items. It's kind of something that you can grab them and just drop them if you got a lot of space in your bag. Herring's another one for the mini fridge barter. You know, now that I think about it, I think both the crackers, the croutons and the rye, both actually have some value. You got to use the croutons for the can of beef in the hideout, and then the rye, I think those are worth like 12, 13k. So let's see, how's our inventory looking? Okay, filling it up. All right, so we still have a ton of spawns, so we are going to drop some stuff. All right, that's it. Check the uh, valuable spawn in the tent. Nothing there. We are good to go. All right, so we're obviously heading to Emercon, but just one really small tip. Just take the hole in the fence here and then run to the extract through the other hole in the fence down here. Mainly because there is a small possibility of PMCs actually spawning up here in the back of ollie so just doing this you will stay out of the pmc range and you'll be able to walk straight to your extract without even being shot at all right so we just extracted we are going to see what the total time on the raid was just give you a rough estimate how long we spent in that raid i would say maybe six seven minutes all right, 8 minutes and 44 seconds. A little longer, probably because I was fucking around in the inventory too much trying to figure out what needed dropped. But here is everything that we got, and we are going to be selling all of the food on the flea market, and I'm only going to calculate the food value. Not going to calculate the Jinji keychain or the scav vest, anything like that. Just the food value itself, and then we can throw on, let's just call it an extra 100,000 rubles at the end of the video for everything else. But when it comes to just the food, that's the main thing this loot video is about. All right, so we are sitting at 128,600,000 rubles. We're going to see how much all of this food gets us by selling it on the flea market. I'm going to show you the prices first, and then I'm going to list it all. So for the max energy, they're going for about 20,000. Can of meat is around 30K. Herring is around 40K. Tarcola, around 30 Squash sitting at 55. Hot rods at 19. Rye croutons at about 15. Small can of meat at about 12. 
and then the bottles of water should be about 12 yes so let's sell it all after fees and all that let's see how much we make all right everything has fully sold we had about 33k in fees so let's collect it let's see how much we made We made 739,051 rubles from the food and then the other stuff that we ended up quick selling the fence was about 100,000 and then we also kept the scav vest. So all in all, all things considered without doing anything else, no combat with PMCs, no other looting at all, simply just the food and the kit we were given, we made around 850k total off of that run. So let's just say you can do one of those in eight minutes every single time and not counting your initial load in times. Uh, that will give you about seven and a half raids per hour. So all we have to do is take seven and a half times 850,000 rubles and your hourly rate of actual in raid time, you'll make over 6 million rubles. And that does have a little bit of variance there. I am somewhat accounting for you getting a few shittier kits here and there. The actual number was 6,375,000 rubles per hour of in raid time. So, you know, give yourself, you know, half a million variance on the kits there. You really should not die when you are doing this loot run. There are PMCs dead center Goshen sometimes, so maybe try and avoid those. But other than that, it is fairly easy to get in and out of the food section without even stepping a foot into the actual middle part where the PMCs typically are. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. A fairly quick one here today. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on it. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm out.